Hi, I'm Kristen from Montevilla Sewing, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make this little lined pouch. Lining on the inside, fun fabric on the outside, with a zipper. We're gonna learn how to put in a zipper. It's easier than you think. All you need is two fabric fat quarters, a 14 inch zipper, or maybe a kit. Ask us about these. Your rotary ruler, a rotary cutter, rotary ruler, and a rotary cutting mat. We really like the Quilter Select brand, but anything will work. Um, it's a simple project. You can make it on even our most basic machines that we sell, and we'll learn how to use our zipper foot. Okay, so the first thing that we do is we're gonna cut our fabric. Uh, you need two rectangles of the outer fabric that are eight inches by 12 inches, two rectangles of your lining fabric that are also eight inches by 12 inches, and then two little squares, an inch and a half by two inches, and you can use either fabric for them. So next we're gonna go over to our cutting mat and cut our fabric. So the first one, first thing that we wanna do is to square up our fat quarter fabric and cut two eight by 12 inch rectangles uh, out of the outer fabric and two eight by 12 inch rectangles out of the lining fabric. So hopefully you can see here that this side of the fat quarter is not very straight and I use my cutting mat to, uh, to help me determine how straight things are. So what I'm gonna do is rotate this around and you'll only be able to see part of it. I'm gonna line up one side that seems pretty straight with the lines on the uh, cutting mat and then I'm going to use my ruler and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut a little bit more off here. I'm gonna use my ruler to make a perpendicular line right here. I can also, I can match my ruler to the lines on the mat. I can match the lines on my ruler to the edge of my fabric. And I use my rotary cutter in a firm and smooth fashion. Now I've got a really nice corner right there. I'm gonna spin it around and now I can use that edge to measure my eight by 12 inch rectangles. I need two rectangles. So I'm gonna measure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and place my ruler over it, and then cut right along the edge there. So there's one and move that out of the way and do the same thing for my second rectangle. This ruler happens to be six inches wide, so I know that the six inch width of the ruler plus two inches down here, here I'll move it up one more so you can see a little bit better, equals eight. And I cut again. Now I need to do the 12 inch parts. Now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. If I put my ruler over the part of the fabric that I want to keep, then if I have any errant cuts, my fabric's still safe. So let's say I went off like that. It's still okay. I can clean that up. All right, do the same for your lining fabric. And then we'll use our scraps to cut um, our little rule, um, zipper end fat pieces. So for the zipper ends, you need two pieces, one and a half inches 
by two inches. And you'll have plenty of leftover bits of fabric from your fat quarters to use either the lining fabric or the um, outer fabric. I'm gonna use the lining fabric because I like a little contrast. So I'm gonna measure an inch and a half from my nice straight cut edge. So you can see there's one inch and a half an inch. And that line on my ruler lines up with the edge of my fabric. Cut that off. And now I can cut two inches and again two inches, one, two. I can use the lines on my ruler or the lines on my mat. I point it opposite. There's lines on my ruler. This is the line on my mat. And there I go. All right. Okay, so for my two zipper end pieces, I am going to iron the short ends. So there's my long two inch, short one and a half inch. I'm gonna iron it in half. And then open it up, fold into the crease. Iron again. And again. And now you've got this tiny little piece. Watch your fingers. And do that for the second piece. There we go. Okay, we're gonna prep our zipper. The first thing you wanna do is unzip it about an inch or so, and then we're gonna put a little tape to hold it in place. I can wrap the tape around or not. And then I'm gonna cut off this little uh, metal stopper here. We've got the tape on it so that we don't accidentally unzip the zipper, un unzip the, the zipper tab all the way off because that would be annoying. Now we're going to, without unzipping it, measure 10 and 3 quarters inches long and cut the other end. Again, we're going to get rid of this metal stopper or metal stopper on the end here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 3 quarters. So we're going to cut it right there. And now we're ready to sew this into our bag. We're gonna put, we're gonna sew our little zipper ends on here. And once we've done that, then you'll be able to zip and unzip the zipper without worrying about it coming apart. So over to the sewing machine. All right, I'm at my sewing machine. I have it set for a regular straight stitch and I have my standard presser foot on it. I'm gonna take the little zipper end pieces that we cut and ironed and I'm just gonna slip one of them over the end of the zipper like that. And I'm gonna sew close to that folded edge. So I put my, put my foot down, my presser foot down, and I sew right across. There we go. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other end. I'm gonna slip the end of the zipper into my folded end fabric end piece, put the presser foot down, and sew close to that folded edge. And now, you can tell these are too long, that was just to make it easier to sew. I'm gonna trim these so they're the same width as the zipper. All right, I'm gonna trim the ends of my zipper ends, the ends of the ends. That looks nice and clean. Do the same to the other end. There we go. Now I'm gonna take my lining fabric 
face up, pretty side up, and I'm going to align, this, I'm gonna center the zipper so there's equal space on either end. Up here at the top edge, and I can use pins or I'm gonna use these little wonder clips to hold it in place. I'm gonna go ahead and close the zipper a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to take my outside fabric and put it face down on top. Make sure that all the edges align and also pin or clip it in place. Then we're gonna go over to the sewing machine and we're gonna sew right along this edge. All right, we're back at our sewing machine and now we're gonna use our zipper foot. And depending on your machine, your zipper foot might look a little different than this, but the idea is that the body of the foot is gonna to be to one side of the needle or the other. So I'm gonna take off my standard foot and I'm gonna put on my zipper foot. And the zipper for the body of the zipper foot is to the right of my needle. So now I'm gonna take my clipped or pinned um, fabric and you can feel that the zipper uh, tab is right under here and it's gonna be kind of hard to sew around it. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna start sewing a little bit beyond that tab. And I'm gonna use the edge of my zipper foot as a guide um, and the bump of the zipper is over here. And I'm just gonna start sewing and I'm gonna take my clips out as I go. Just sew right along the edge. All the way to the end. I'm gonna stop. And now I can unzip the zipper about halfway and come back and sew from the beginning. Oh, gotta give it a little. There we go. And now that zipper tab is not in my way. And when I get to where I had started before, I can stop. And that just makes it really easy to avoid the bulk of the zipper tab. Now we're gonna go over to the iron and press this open. I went over to my ironing station and I pressed both the outer fabric and the lining fabric away from the zipper. And now we're gonna do a little top stitching to make everything tidy. Pull your lining fabric over to the left, because now we're gonna top stitch just through the seam allowances and your top fabric. We're gonna keep our zipper foot on, and we're gonna top stitch maybe an eighth of an inch away. And this time when we get close to the zipper tab, we should be able to just lift our presser foot and zip the tab out of the way. And then we can keep going. I'm kind of using the edge of my zipper foot to, as a guide. Use whatever works best for you. at the end 
and we've sewn in one side of the zipper. Now we're going to take our um, other two lining and outer pieces of fabric and to use the same process to sew them to this side of the zipper. So I've got my lining for my second rectangle of lining fabric, my second rectangle of outer fabric, and I've lined the zipper up with one edge. You can see here's what we already sewed. Here's what the next side we're going to sew. I want to make sure that all my edges line up nicely. And you can see that the edges of the new rectangles line up with the previously sewn rectangles. So now we can sew right along the edge of our zipper. This time, the tab of the zipper is down at this end. So we can start right at the beginning. I can feel I'm getting close to the zipper head or zipper tab, so I'm going to go ahead and take this out of the machine just because it's a little bit easier to maneuver. I'm going to unzip and then I can repin or reclip and finish sewing. Okay. I reclipped and I'm going to finish sewing. I'm going to line up with where I stopped sewing, overlapping it a little bit. And sew to the end. Like before, we can iron away from the zipper. It's pretty Helpful to, uh, to zip the zipper back up again. And then we're going to go iron away from both pieces away from the zipper. And then we'll come back and top stitch with the lining opened out over to the left side. All right, I've pressed the, the lining and the outer fabric away from the zipper. Now I'm just opening up the lining fabric to the left side and I'm going to top stitch through the seam allowances and the top, fa the outer fabric, just like we did for the other side. When I get close to the zipper tab, I can put my needle down in the fabric so I don't lose my place, lift my presser foot, move the zipper tab out of the way, and then continue sewing to the end. Okay, before the next step, we're just going to give things a nice little press, make sure everything's in place. I want to make sure that my lining fabric stays away from the zipper since that didn't get top stitched down. Now we're going to pin our lining fabrics together face to face. I'm going to start with the corners. And I'm going to pin perpendicular to the edge of my fabric. Those corners, whoops. Now make sure everything lines up nicely. Take this opportunity to trim some extra threads. I'm going to pin my outer fabric together. Oh, very important. Make sure at this point that your zipper is at least halfway unzipped. Okay, once we've got our 
corners pinned. We can work our way to the center, pin. Pin. Now on the sides here, you want to match up your zipper seams. And this can get a little bit bulky here. I've got all my seam allowances. Um, they kind of want to go towards the outer fabric. So I'm going to let them just go the way they want. And I'm going to use my Wonder Clips here just because they work well on that bulk. And then I'm going to use my regular pins on the rest of the side. And on the side over here. And again, same thing on the other end. Match up those seams. Oh, let's see, that one's not. There we go. Match up the seam. I can use a pin or a wonder clip. And then pin and pin. Now, we've got everything nice and pinned here. I am going, we need to be able to turn this right sides out when we're done. And so we're gonna leave a turning hole in our lining fabric. So I'm gonna mark with some, I happen to have some different pins. You could use a little pencil mark so you know where to stop and start about three inches. And then we're gonna go over to the sewing machine and we're gonna sew starting at one this point and we're gonna sew all the way around the perimeter of our bag, both the lining side and the outer fabric. And then we're gonna stop when we get to this point. When we're sewing, across the, the zipper area. You just want to make sure that you go kind of slow, everything stays in place, and you don't sew through those zipper end bits down way down here. We're gonna make sure we sew within our seam allowance. All right, back to the machine. Okay, I'm back at my sewing machine. Now I'm gonna switch back to my standard needle, or standard presser foot. I'm taking off the zipper foot and I'm putting my standard presser foot back on. Then I'm gonna take my nicely pinned bag and remember where we marked for our turning hole? I'm gonna start sewing at that point. I'm gonna use the width of my presser foot as my seam allowance guide. It's roughly a quarter inch, a little, little bit more, uh, but it works great for this project. Remove the pins before you get to them. No one wants to dull a needle by sewing over it. I'm gonna pivot at the corner, and that actually doesn't leave quite enough seam allowance, so I'm gonna lift my needle and my presser foot, scooch it over, and then continue sewing. I'm getting to my bulky area. So I'm just gonna slow down. And I pull it a little bit from the back so it keeps going. And there we go. All right, that's our last corner. All the way around. 
When I started, I could have done a little bit of back stitching just to make this a little bit stronger. I can go backwards a couple stitches here to end it. Uh, that way it won't, the seam won't pull apart so much when you're turning it in right side out. To turn it right side out, we want to reduce bulk in the corners. So I'm just going to use my scissors to cut across. Just make sure you don't cut your thread. So I'm going to cut all four corners. And now I can turn this right side out through my turning hole, right there. You can use a um, chopstick or a blunt pencil to poke your corners out. Probably less critical on the lining fabric, but definitely worth it on the outside. There we go. So now your bag's going to look something like this. Because we had the zipper unzipped, we were able to, uh, to pull everything right side out. And here's our little zipper end. Push that out. So hopefully you didn't sew through it. And so you get a nice crisp little corner up here on your bag. That's looking pretty good. Now you can shove your lining inside. But it does have its little turning hole here. The easiest thing to do is to press your seam allowance down and just sew right across it since it's going to be on the inside of your bag. If you want a really clean look, you can take a matching thread and a hand sewing needle and hand sew this opening closed. For the sake of expediency, I'm just going to use my sewing machine and do a straight stitch close to the edge. This all goes back inside the bag. There we go. Give it a good press. And you'll get a lovely bag. I hope you enjoyed making this bag with us. If you want uh, written instructions, there's a PDF in the link below. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. We're adding more videos all the time. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please put them below. Thanks.